You know that feeling when you've built an amazing WordPress website? Someone is filling in a contact form and maybe someone's purchased a product. Those emails are just not getting through. Or maybe they are getting through, but they're ending up in the spam or the junk mailbox. So how can you sort that out? Now, there are loads of WordPress solution and tools out there. Post SMTP and there's WP Mail SMTP. The trouble is though, sometimes you can install them. There's always like this 50-50 scenario where the mail could still end up in the junk spam mailbox and one of the ways to get around that is rather than using like the free mail client they give you is to go and use something like gmail however how many of you have gone through that process and when you then start to go and add in like your api keys or anything like that you go through screen after screen after screen and if the communication or the instructions are not great you may struggle and when you're doing this for many clients and websites it becomes a huge headache so what can you do if you're setting up emails for your clients and you're fed up of google's tricky smtp integration i want to talk to you about the new site mailer plugin by the Elemental team. It can be a bit of a game changer and it can make a huge difference in how easy and simple it is to ensure your emails get to where they need to get to. Once you've installed site mailer, you just got to do a few clicks and it is set up. Of course, there's more you can do with setting up your custom domain and I would recommend you do that and you need to go and add in some text records into your host provider. But the instructions for this are really easy to do. But if you're using another third party solution, you would probably have to do some of that anyway. I don't know about you, but when I find click, click and it's done processes, it gets a huge tick from me. Another great feature is how simple it is to troubleshoot problems. So email's not gone through. A lot of the third party tools don't exactly notify you unless you go looking for it. With SiteMailer in your WordPress dashboard, but tells you that a problem has occurred and what the problem was. Almost a year ago, we had to deal with DMARC and you had to set things up with your domain and your emails, etc. let alone SPF. Now, Google does not handle that very, very well. So you might set up your Google API, but then you've got to still go through your domain and your email provider. Because if you don't sort that out, your emails are going to land in spam. But it's okay because SiteMail includes all of this protection. So your emails land in the recipient's inbox. You don't need to go through your host provider setup. It's all handled for you. And as I've mentioned already, you don't have to worry about a G Suite subscription. You can just use SiteMailer to go and ensure that your emails are using your custom domain. Companies and organizations that still use Gmail on their website does not cut it. So point them to this solution to ensure they get their custom email to make it look so much more professional. If you care about logs, stats, error reports, all within your WordPress dashboard, SiteMailer has got you covered for that. Have any Google solutions ever been really simple and easy to navigate when you want to get statistics? Now, here's the thing a lot of people do overlook because when you go through Gmail or you do your API for your maps or other features, you kind of think it's free, but it is free up to a limit. And when you start to use or overuse it, they will charge you for that. And if you're scaling up and growing, you don't want to get hit by a hidden cost. SiteMailer does have a free option, but there is transparency transparent pricing as well. Decide on how you're going to grow as a business and at what point you need to scale up. But look, go and get started for free. You can go and install the plugin right now. If you do run into any problems, you can rely on the SiteMailer support team to help you out because they're going to know the tool inside out. So you don't have to worry about reading tons of online documentation where things start to get contradictory or not make sense. If sending emails in WordPress is important to you, and you want to make email task management really easy with a few clicks, then you've got to give SiteMailer a chance for free and go and see the difference. Hey, I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. And I would love to see your comments. And if you have tried out SiteMailer, how have you found it?